Hello there, and thanks for joining me today. I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Atmosphere Brush Pack for Particle Shop. This is a wonderful brush pack because it can create all kinds of clouds and upper atmosphere effects. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to use each of these brushes. I have my nice sky background loaded here in Photoshop, and I'm gonna launch Particle Shop by going to Window, Extensions, and then Particle Shop and that will open up the Particle Shop panel, and that gives me quick access to all these shortcuts here. I'm gonna choose the first option, which is Duplicate Active Layer. That's my sky background, and then I'm gonna click Launch Particle Shop, and then I'm gonna scroll on down and I'm gonna locate the Atmosphere Brush Pack. Let's start with the cloud brushes first. We'll choose Alto Cumu, which is short for Alto Cumulus, and I'm gonna paint a few strokes here. Now, this is using particle technology, so all of these little shapes are gonna kinda of happen automatically because the particles will move around. So I want something kinda of like this. I can also make my brush bigger or smaller to get larger or finer effects. So there's our Alto Cumulus Cloud. Next we'll look at the Zero Cumulus. We'll put in some of that up here. Make my brush a bit bigger and increase the opacity a bit so they're a bit thicker. Now this particular brush is using the flow map and you can change your flow map to any of these flow maps. So if I want a completely different cloud pattern, I can get that pretty easily. So let's just put in some of those up here towards the top. Next on the list is Cirrostratus. These are some clouds that are really high up in the sky. So we'll go ahead and put those in. Again, you can change your flow map to any of these flow maps, and you can change your grain to get some different effects and textures for your clouds. So I'm gonna use kind of a bigger brush for this and paint kind of diagonal strokes that go back and forth and build up. Let's take a look at the next cloud brush, and that's Cirrus. And I'm just gonna move my color palette over here out of the way so I can paint in this corner up here. Cirrus clouds are kind of long and streamy like this, so we'll just pull out some little long streaks could have some that kind of curve like so. I'm using white for each of these clouds, but if you were working on a different colored sky, you could of course use black or orange or any other color that you want. And you could build these up with a multitude of colors if you want them to be kind of multicolored like so. But for this example, I'm just gonna use white. Let's take a look at the next cloud brush, and that is Contrail. And a Contrail is not technically a cloud, it's the trail that comes off of an airplane. And that's kind of a long streak that goes across the sky. So you just wanna draw one long continuous line. Now the trick with this brush is if you start out slow, you're gonna get kind of a chunky Contrail. But if you move really fast, it's gonna to start to kind of break apart. And that's kind of what happens with Contrails is they eventually start to break up and kind of diffuse a little bit towards the ends. The next brush that we'll look at is going to be Cumulus. Let's go ahead and put in a Cumulus cloud here. I'm using kind of winding circular strokes to put this in. The Cumulus cloud is kind of big and billowy like this. And you could add a little bit of darkness to the bottom if you wanted it to be a Cumulonimbus cloud. But you wanna just go back and forth between your light and your dark colors to build this up. And last on the list are the stratus clouds, and stratus clouds are usually a bit lower and closer to the horizon, and they're usually kind of horizontal, so I'm just kind of painting horizontal brush strokes here. Again, I can change my flow map if I want a more horizontal flow map. And if I make my brush smaller, I get thinner, finer clouds. If I make my brush bigger, I get broader, wider clouds. So let's go ahead and click the save button and we'll go ahead and save only the brush strokes. That's going to put these clouds on their own layer. And let's go ahead and select the mixer brush tool. And if I want, I can go in here and I can blend some of these clouds. Like I can blend the bottom area of this cumulus cloud here just to kind of fade it out. I can also use the blur and the smudge brushes. So if I wanted to kind of smudge things around, I can do that to kind of reshape my clouds and soften them a bit. I can also use blur if I want to just kind of soften them and make them look a little higher up, a little more out of focus. And then if I wanted to layer these up, I could continue adding additional layers of clouds. This time I'm going to duplicate visible layers below and merge with the active layer. 
and I'm going to switch back to the Cumulus Clouds. And I'm just going to add a second layer here. And I'll go ahead and save. Save only the brush strokes. And then I can go back in with the Mixer Brush and I can continue blending that in so it's a smoother transition there at the bottom. And now our cloud looks like it has some different layers to it. So those are the cloud brushes in the Atmosphere Pack. Now let's take a look at some of the upper atmosphere space effects that we can create. I'm going to go ahead and launch Particle Shop again. So let's move on to the next brush, which is Ionized. And ionized gives you a really cool aurora effect as viewed from space. So I'm going to pick kind of a bright green color like this. And I'll just paint in some kind of ionized northern lights effects here. You can also just kind of tap and hold to create these almost lightsaber looking effects here. And of course you could layer this up with different colors if you wanted to pick a slightly different color and mix some of that in. So I'm going to select sun rays. I'm going to move my color palette here. I'm going to make a really big brush and I'm going to select white and I'm going to tap and hold and I'm going to let these rays build up. And when you have it looking how you want, let's go ahead and save. We'll save only the brush strokes. And then I'm going to take the Move tool and I'm just going to move it kind of off to the side here. I'm going to set the Blend Mode to Screen and I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit so it's a little more subtle. And of course you can change the Blend Mode for any of the layers. So for instance, if this isn't blending exactly how I want it to, I could try Screen and see if that works better. Or I could try Hard Light or Vivid Light or Linear Light. But generally anything that's light or glowing is going to benefit from being switched to a screen or any of these light blend modes. So there you go, that's a quick demonstration of the Atmosphere Brush Pack for Particle Shop. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you'd like to see more Particle Shop tutorials, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.